The centre of the Earth can be projected to the closest point on the surface. My father once told me that Woodfield Street is the centre of the world, and I'm yet to find a reason to disagree. That long high street winding through our hometown like the great cardiac vein. In the 1800s, after considering all the dry land habitable by man the world over, the director of the Royal Observatory named the Great Pyramid of Giza as the Earth's geometric heart. But he'd never set foot in Morriston, never experienced the fish tank waiting room of yellow cabs on a wet Saturday afternoon, nor surrendered his body to the deepest, darkest tanning of Electric Avenue. If only that astronomer royal had opened the plain white door next to Family Value, descended the hidden stairs to the subterranean riches of the Balti Palace. The parlours of Woodfield Street draw the restless from the town's urban sprawl. Beauty, betting, ice cream, pizza, funerals, tattoos. Food centres and fish bars, card factories and shoe zones. Carpets, electricals, real Italian coffee and fake Hollywood nails. The newsagents on the crossroads with a sun-bleached sign christening it the luckiest lottery shop in Wales. The Anglican church advertises for private prayer, while the jacket potato man shelters by the chapel wall, wrapping spuds in foil for the midday rush. And beneath stock photos of skin fades, barber upon barber creates a conga line of crop punters, each now ready for the weekend crawl between fountain and champion brewers, the 4A bus to Swansea. All human life is here, its grand opening offers and closing down sales. And there, that memory of being sat in the greasy spoon's window as a hungover teen, seeing my grandmother waiting to cross the road outside. How, years later, and even after we gave the last of her to the Black Mountain's wind, she is still on Woodfield Street, always, waiting for that traffic light to turn from red to green.